Say you want to play some cards with your friends online. I'm sure you can find hundreds of examples with solos cards and funny avatars on each person. Is it fair? Sure. Is it easier to maintain player gameplay? Certainly. But are you really playing cards if you can't quickly sneak a peek to your advantage? What if there was a game mechanic where you would get rewarded for being a sly fox? Well, I have an army of completed full-scale AAA video games under my belt. Wait, wait a second, that doesn't sound right. Sorry, well, I have a graveyard full of half-completed Unity projects under my belt, so let's see what an old veteran can get done. To create an immersive AR VR 4K gaming experience, we first need to set up the room where our card game will take place. So I went to work creating some crisp 3D models on Blender. I made this cozy underground casino room with no roof but just ignore that. We have some background decor here, the players here which are made up of 3 NPCs and yourself and finally the dealer. Now I don't own a VR headset but that doesn't stop me from having a great first person view. Because sneaking is important, I want it to be obvious where each player is looking at at all times. So I wanted to have the see-through spheres that will blink and show where you or other players are looking at. Here the sphere is generated and the player could cast a ray if it hits a target, the sphere must appear on the contact point. But why can't I see it? What is going on here? At first I thought the sphere was colliding with the player's own head, but now I realize it's colliding with itself and the ray hits the sphere at its edge, so every frame the hit point becomes closer and closer to the camera. To be honest, there is no reason for the ray to collide with the look spheres, so I just added that and boom. Now as you can see, it now works great. Now as you might have noticed that the timer at the bottom here, in the beginning my plan was to have one of these fun one hour coding challenges. But after going through my hour long timer three times, I had nothing done. Oh well, the one hour timer is over anyways, so I might as well enjoy myself. Now I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing in my code editor as well. That can't be too hard to automate using OBS, right? Well, it's an hour later and here we are. I have set up OBS such that it will show my editor and Unity automatically based on which program is focused on. And I'm really proud of it. Now I have nothing stopping me from recording my development journey, so the rest of this project should be done in an hour or so, like I intended, right? Did some work on making sure the NPC heads also move around to get our game going, which worked perfectly fine at the first try as you can see. Turns out for some reason I rotated the bodies of some of the NPCs and therefore their forward vector were off and they were corresponding to different viewing angles. I just had to rotate their bodies around so that they would all look around the same way. And boom, it's working. The next day, <clears throat> I thought I should get started on putting some actual cards in my card game. So I spent some time drawing some cool deck art. Mm, I wonder what the card is the dealer dealing here. Well, alright, let's add some cool retro background, resize the cards. And okay, now how about a whole deck? Okay, now how about a whole deck? As you can see at the end, we now have a nice full deck of cards here, all stacked nicely and ready for gameplay. Now initially I wanted to have some cool rigged models here, where the players would actually hold their cards with their hands, but sadly the animation and modeling team over here all called in sick. So I had to think and make it easier for myself, so how about for now we just have the cards magically flown in front of each player. It makes it easier to sneak peek anyways. I also wanted to make sure it's easy to tell who's looking where. Because as the players sneak further away, it makes it harder to track exactly which player they were looking at. Now I don't want the players to look like they're shooting themselves with a ray gun, so I should probably scale the speed of these particles based on the distance. Now that I'm about 6 hours into this 1 hour coding challenge, time to actually implement our sneak peeking mechanic before my timer runs out. Now as you can see, I've added the system where I can tell which player is exactly looking at who. And now I can move on to polishing up the UI and catching the peekers. Other non-playable characters should be able to peek and catch peekers as well. And here's how that works. If you sneak at someone and not get caught, they lose a life. If you sneak at someone and they catch you, you lose a life. If you sneak at someone and see that someone else was sneaking on them, they both lose a life. Now the ratios could be tweaked, since right now the NPCs are American snipers with a 100% success rate, 
but the system works fine, so there's that. But wait, why is nobody losing any health? Here's some footage of me looking around the code and missing the obvious reason why. And here we go. Past myself found it, now people are correctly losing health. Now, apart from this crisp UI, I think I should make it easier for the player to tell who caught who and who lost help. So it's time to add some cool visual effects. Such that whenever you catch someone, i.e. you make them lose health, you're successful. And whenever you actually lose health, you get the fail effect cast on you, because you're a failure. Well, you might be thinking, where is the card game? What is the card game? Well, at first I thought about making poker. But then I thought doing something simpler like blackjack, and that's why the layout of the table is like this. But then I thought about it even more. And decided that I won't actually implement any card games. I mean, there are a million card games online, and another million card game guides on YouTube. Because you as the player get an advantage by seeing the cards with your eyes, I don't actually need to implement some card game mechanic, because you will just win the card game. And the rest of this video would be just me implementing a card game probably following some of those guides I showed you. I think I achieved the goal of demonstrating that we could make a game where sneaking is a rewarding mechanic both through the players losing health and also by you just gaining information and actually winning the card game. I haven't done a video in a while, so I just want to finish and publish this one at this point. But yeah, if you actually want me to further polish this project, implement a card game, or connect the mechanics together, please leave a comment about it, and if enough people are interested, I'll do it. Thank you for watching, especially if you have come this far, I assume you're probably eating or you forgot me on your second screen, but I still appreciate it. I know I used to do more technical guide type of videos, but I really enjoy watching coding adventures of funny ideas, and I believe I have some good ideas myself here and there. So please let me know what you thought about this video. Do you have any crazy game ideas that you're too late to implement? Well, send them my way, and maybe I'll get them off your hands, and I'll make sure to give you credit as well. Jokes aside. Please give me your good ideas, this one was a mediocre one at best and you wouldn't know how much time I spent trying to brainstorm it. Anyways, okay thanks bye.